Hello, welcome to day four of 12 Days of Crafting. This bamboo board came from Dollar Tree, so if you would like the dimensions of it, go back, pause the video. That little bamboo board was $1.25. We are going to be using the M1 by X2 in order to engrave it for our craft for today. So what you see me doing right now is I found an image online and I just saved it. I'm going to bring it over into the X2 software and we will edit it right here and it's really simple. So we are just going to remove the background. Well, I'm going to crop it first. And then we will just make the background transparent. So that way, just Jack and the banner that he is holding will um, be the image that is engraved onto the bamboo cutting board. Now, you can import DXF files into the design software. Um at, or like take a JPEG and convert it into DXF. But what I love about this design software is you literally can just bring a file over and it will allow you to do it right here in the software. So you don't have to have all of the extras to do it. Right now, I am just resizing the image and making sure that the placement on the board is where I want it to be and of course since Jack is holding a banner I'm going to add some text onto it take a guess because yes it's going to be my last name <laughs> so if you've watched a few of my videos yes I will put my name on everything I was that kid growing up I liked Lisa Frank Yes, showing my age. <laughs> Lisa Frank, um, Hello Kitty. I remember in South Lake Mall, they used to have a store that sold like Hello Kitty, Karopi, Bats Maru. I used to love all of that. I still love stationery as an adult. Um, the art of writing is just beautiful. I still love handwritten letters and calligraphy. But back to the task at hand. So now that I have my name, we have to resize it. And of course, the hardest part about designing something for me is finding a font when I am using text. I always go through a million fonts, it feels like, when I'm trying to decide on one. Um, I had it locked, so... I'm tapping it to unlock it because, of course, when I was trying to resize it, if it's locked, it's going to continue, you know, making it a certain length and width at the same time. That little lock rate, lock rate, aspio, ratio, whatever it's called. But now that I have it somewhat the size that I want, of course, I'm going to change the font a couple more times. <laughs> um... If anyone has a laser or if you have the M1, drop a comment below and let me know what you guys like to make with your M1 or your any laser that you have. If you have a K40 or if you have one of the larger lasers or something that you like to make. I haven't used acrylic just yet, um, so that is something that I do want to try with my laser is to um, cut out some acrylic blanks <clears throat> uh, and I get a lot of questions about the M1 in my inbox I love it I have not had any issues out of my laser um, and I got to tell you guys you always protect your investments make sure you are cleaning your laser make sure you're keeping up with your maintenance if you are gentle with your things just like your parents told you when you were small if you're gentle with your things they will last <laughs> so take care of your stuff so right now what i was doing was there's an option that says framing and it pretty much just traces the item that you have in it to see if your design is going to fit on there and now it is sending the file to, to the laser <clears throat> i'm sorry guys <coughs> 
and it's doing its magic. So this is real time video of how it engraves. And then of course the video is gonna speed up because it did take roughly 35 minutes to complete this project from beginning to end. So that's a little lengthy and we were not gonna do a voiceover for that long. So the items used in the video are linked in my bio under the Amazon storefront. It should say M1. So if you wanna look at the laser or any of what I call bells and whistles, which is the air assist, the honeycomb tray that you see in the video, or the riser, um, they're all linked in my bio as well. This is a very plug and play friendly laser. So right out the box, you can do your first project. You don't have to have all of the extras in order to do the projects. Yes, they are nice to have, but remember your budget. Make sure that you are getting what you need to get started if you are looking into getting, you know, a beginner laser or anything for that matter. Do your research. Make sure that you are getting your best price. And this is just an honest review of the M1. I paid my hard earned dollars for it. Um, it was not supplied to me. So this is my honest opinion about this particular product. Anything that I post, either I've paid for or my family, you know, or a friend has gifted it to me. So I'm going to tell y'all the truth about whatever item it is. <clears throat> um, oh, I apologize, but I'm not going to start this voiceover over because this is the second one. <laughs> if you haven't already, click the link in the bio, go over to um, my YouTube channel. We will be doing a giveaway on the 12th day. So today is day four on the 12th day. So December 12th, 2023 at 7 p.m. I will go live on the 12th day. We'll complete the craft live and there will be a giveaway. In order to enter to win, you have to be subscribed to the YouTube channel. So that's the 12th day. We're on day four. And if you guys are following along for the journey, I hope you are getting some great ideas, having some fun, and thinking about the stuff that y'all want to buy for National Craft Month, which is in March. March, get ready. I posted a deal almost every day, March of this year, during National Craft Month. A lot of things go on sale. So some of the bigger ticket items, if you don't get them for Christmas... You can save your money and grab them in March. All right, so it is almost at the end for engraving our little bamboo board. Super excited. And again, this came from Dollar Tree. The board came from Dollar Tree. So dollar twenty-five cent. And they have a lot of items that you can engrave as well as cut. Cut. <clears throat> Good Lord. As well as cut in Dollar Tree. Um, they also sell vinyl now. They sell the weaving tools. Um, they sell a lot of crafting items. They have really upped their game in the craft section at Dollar Tree. And I've noticed even in my area... Each Dollar Tree carries something different. So some Saturdays I will hit like all four that's right in my area to see what they have. <clears throat> if you found anything amazing or awesome in Dollar Tree recently, drop down in the comments and tell us what it is. Or you can respond with a video. I would love to see what you grabbed as um, far as crafting items at Dollar Tree. Because I never seem to go in and just grab the one thing that I went in for. <laughs> but I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Our project is done. And this is what it looks like. 